The Binding of Loki The gods and goddesses of Norse mythology always found Loki to be more of a burden than a help. But after his contriving the death of Baldr and ensuring that the god would remain in the underworld until the cosmos is destroyed during Ragnarok, he went about slandering the gods at every opportunity. The gods had had enough of his abuse and decided to capture him. Loki found out about this and ran far away from Asgard. He constructed a four-door house for himself at the top of a high mountain so he could keep an eye out for his pursuers coming from all sides. He transformed into a salmon during the day and hid beneath a nearby waterfall. By night, he sat by his fire and weaved a net for fishing for his food. The far-seeing Odin perceived where Loki was hiding, and the gods went after him. When Loki saw his former friends approaching, he threw the net in the fire and hid himself in the stream in a salmon form so as to leave no traces of himself or his activities. When the gods arrived and saw the net smoldering in the fire, they deduced that the filthy shapeshifter had changed himself into the likeness of those he intended to catch for himself. The gods built their own net out of the rope Loki had been using before advancing to the stream. They tried casting their net into the stream several times, but the salmon evaded them each time. When the fish finally decided to take a risky leap downstream to swim to the sea, Thor snatched him as he was in the air. The salmon writhed in the war god's grasp, but Thor held him fast by his tail fins. This is why to this day, the salmon has a slender tail. Loki was forced to return to his normal form now that he was captured and taken to a cave. The gods then brought in Loki's two sons and turned one into a wolf. He lost all his consciousness and turned so wild that he immediately killed his brother and his intestines were spread across the cave floor. The gods turned these intestines of Loki's dead son into iron chains and used them to bind Loki to three rocks. Scotty placed a poisonous snake on a rock above his head, where it dripped venom onto his face. But Loki's faithful wife, Sigyn, sat by his side with a bowl that she held up to the snake's mouth to catch the poison. But every so often, the bowl became full and Sigyn would have to leave her husband's side to dispose of its contents, at which point the drops that fell onto the god's face would cause him to shake violently, which brought about earthquakes in Midgard, the world of humanity. And this was the condition of Loki and Sigyn until, as fated, Loki would break free from his chains at Ragnarok to assist the giants in destroying the cosmos.